Hello everyone, this is Kuntal back again with another new tutorial. Uh, this will be another C short tutorial. So um, I'll be explaining a little bit of expression uh, which will make your uh, workflow very you know well arranged actually. So um, it's very simple, uh, not much complex, but uh, that will give you, you know, a much more clear vision uh, of your nodes. So let's jump in okay so you can see inside of this new there is nothing no nodes nothing so basically uh, this time i'm going to have um, only two or three nodes to just explain you the the expression uh, what you can use uh, to just uh, to you know represent those nodes visually uh, and that will be very much helpful to you actually okay so let's get something like you know very common uh, that we use is like multiply okay <clears throat> we use it very commonly uh, for you know kind of like you know, uh, change the values and all right um, maybe there will be you know grade that can be any color correction node that can be anything anything you want actually it doesn't matter so i'll be using this grade and multiply you know very specifically uh, to just make you understand what we can do with these things right so um suppose uh, you are inside of grade node and you have def uh, used this you know multiply before uh, that grade or something like that uh, you really uh, don't know what exactly happening in inside of this you know multiply there is nothing no you know visuals here so you need to go to multiply and then you need to go for this okay value this value is this and all right so <coughs> for uh, for the purpose of you know pipeline to make it clear to make it visible to everyone uh, you know to make something like highlighted so yeah definitely you can use some sort of you know expressions to uh, get those values on top of this particular node so we will be using pcl um, uh, commands or tcl expressions inside of new uh, there is another one uh, which new supports is python so let's get into the the expression one okay so suppose you do have this multiply and you have animated those things or something like that uh, but you are somewhere anything you know uh, doing something else with the grade node something like that so i really don't know what the value is actually right so here nothing is visible so let's get into that i'll be going for this node here and i'll be typing something like i'll be typing like you know third bracket of the parenthesis like that and i'll be typing value and space value and then i'll close the bracket so as you can see there is something coming out which is like 0 0.96 if you go back to the multiply you can see the value is 0 0.96 and this is what it shows okay so uh, the expression is says okay the whatever the value uh, is of the value node right of the value you know knob you can say so here is the value if you if you toggle here right you know it will show what exactly that knob calls right so this is value so for example i don't know really what exactly the name of this particular parameter so what we can do before this parenthesis so we can go for like you know value and you can make some underscore or something like that whatever you need you can do it right and that will show the the value and this is what you will be getting so this is whatever you know outside of this uh, brackets uh, that will be calculated as a, as a name and whatever inside of this that will be calculated like that so what if i do have um, uh, something like you know different parameters different values like right now it is absolutely the same so if you go for like you know uh, for the green for the red so if you go for that the value will show like that but uh, if you say okay let's say um, i want to only see the the green channel what you can do is just go back to the the node and after this value you just say dot uh, green because g is is green so say g so it will only show the value of you know green so what you can do you know say value underscore g is basically this so you can just copy this and enter paste and you just replace the g with just go for 
G with maybe you know B okay so this will be like blue channel all right and this will be maybe R I'll be doing it R and I'll be copy that one as well I'll be making it G actually all right so you can just toggle it out like that so rgb values are like that only right uh, so whenever you just change uh, anything here yeah definitely you do have this alpha channel so that's a value of alpha you can also add that as well all right so you do have that options here so you can see this is actually showing all the values so you don't need to really go into this multiply option and just look at to the uh, the values of it okay so this kind of little expression uh, will make your you know comp or make your nodes you know visually attractive or visually you can say you know explain uh, explanatory okay right so let's get into another one so what are you gonna do you can see that you know this black point is actually called black point white point is white point lift is black gain is white multiply is multiply offset and add and gamma and gamma right so uh, what i can do it's pretty much easy i'll be going for like you know value but uh let's say black point black point and you say third bracket say value right space black point but make sure that you you use it you know properly you, you just spell it properly uh don't put the b you know you know in a capital because that will be your error right all right so uh let's say next is like uh white point so you can go for like here you say white point right white point and colon and do the same so like i'll just copy and pasting things right okay i'll say copy paste and copy paste the w will be normal right so you can see that white point is one and black point is you know zero so this is how you can easily uh, find the things and again uh, however i i did that here so like you know rgb values you can separate it if you want to for the black point or the black uh, you know white point as well it doesn't matter right but uh what if i do uh, something else as well so something like say okay if um if i say okay how do i know the reverse is on or not right i i need to go back to that here right so what we can do is like you know <clears throat> we need to write something you know very easy thing right um let's say what we wanna uh see which is reverse right so i'll say reverse okay um so let's say colon and say in parentheses i can say if and then i'll get another parenthesis and i'll say knob reverse okay so basically i'm saying if knob reverse is active okay so say in second bracket we can say return means if the knob active you return it as yes right you are just commenting that you know do that if this is what happening then do that if it is not then do that right so this is how you can easily make it so let's say the bracket close and then say else um return again in second bracket so whatever you are commenting you just need to make sure that is inside of the second bracket right so say return no right and then close the second bracket and i did have this third bracket over there because it was open parenthesis so i'll go for this as third bracket right let's space it here because space is needed so 
what happens is like if the knob reverse is yes i mean uh, is enable then make sure that is yes and if it is not then say no so it says reverse no if you go back and say reverse it and it will say yes so it's visually representative right it's pretty easy to work so it really do, do not need to go back and see okay what do i have the reverse on or not something like that right you also can change the colors of the the tile as well if you want to like for example if i if i type here again like in third parenthesis say if space again knob okay reverse second bracket return knob tile underscore color you know do it any random color okay for example 100 all right and i will be having it like in in brackets right else return knob tile underscore color like you know it could be anything like 10 okay so bracket close second bracket close and third bracket close so you can see that the the color has changed because you know it's no if i say the reverse knob is on so it says okay yes this one is doing the job right so you can change the color if you want to you can also change the maybe the color values like six okay or maybe like you know 50 or maybe like you know three or you know five you know doesn't matter actually right so you can see so if it is reverse then it is green if it is not then it is like pink okay so this is how you can easily change your knobs your colors you know you can put some more information to it uh, to just make sure that you know everything is looking good and everything is you know visible and visually representative all right so i hope this little tutorial is very much informative for you so I hope this particular you know expressions will help you a lot uh, for your you know setup or for your script to make sure that is visually representative and that is you know pretty much well arranged right. So subscribe the channel, do comments below and you know, share the videos, share the channel link as well. That's it. See you next time. Bye bye.